Hi, I got something interesting here that you might want to see. Uh, I got this uh, InDesign document that is corrupted. Um, there's a whole lot of information in there that uh, could not be reached. Well, let me open it for you so that you can see what happens. I open it in InDesign. InDesign tries it but crashes uh, the file. I have to cancel this. Uh, my InDesign has totally crashed. I'm not able to open it. So I'll cancel this. Um, and what I tried is, well, I know that uh, I have a great conversion tool called ID2Q, InDesign to Quark, uh, which is an, a great extension within uh, Quark. Um, so I can now just go to the file, um, it's here, and open the InDesign file and convert it into a Quark document. And the good thing is that even though I'm not able to open it in InDesign, I'm now actually converting it to Quark, and it seems to work. So this is, this is a great feature of the uh, ID2Q extension from Marksware. Um, it just converts the whole file, and here you can see it. I just opened it up in, as a Quark file now. It is converted, and all the data is right there at my screen. So if I go to my page layout and scroll down a bit, you can see that all the elements are there, all the text is there, Everything from the document is just converted into Quark. Well, this is absolutely great, but what is even better that is that Marksware also has a, a Q2ID plugin which converts Quark documents into InDesign. So I'm going to save this file as a Quark document, which is now uh, a good file that I can open over and over again. Um, I close this one. Uh, go back to opening InDesign, which just crashed. So I open this up. And then with the Q2ID plugin installed, I can now open a file. And let's see, open, and I find the Quark document now. I open up the Quark document, and it converts right back into an InDesign file. So the Quark file that was that restored all my information is now converted back to InDesign, so in the end I have a complete uh, InDesign document again that will not crash my InDesign. So this is a great feature that those conversion tools offer. Um, let me close this and I'll show you that I can now totally scroll through all my pages and have all the information av uh, available in InDesign again. Uh, it sort of repaired my document. Of course I'm the first one to to tell you that um, I don't, do not exactly know what was wrong with the uh, InDesign file, but this is absolutely great. I'm, I can now save this file, put it on my desktop, and everything is done. I hope this was useful, and I hope to see you next time. This is the file, by the way. So there you go. I uh, hope to see you next time.